Wow, that was such a crazy episode. We got a lot to talk about this week. Everybody. So the second episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier just debuted on Disney+. Plus. Thank you as always checking back each week to talk the MCU with me. I love talking about these shows with you guys. If you enjoyed it as well, whether you're new or old to the channel, make sure you like and also subscribe so you're up to date with all my movie reviews, show reactions, and all that stuff as well. The first episode was a very personal one as we delved into the personal lives of both Sam and Bucky, but we had that big shocker at the end when the government announces a new Captain America, much to the shock of Sam and pretty much everyone. I kind of figure going in this, we get an actual introduction to John Walker as a character. He's a U.S. Army vet that's picked to be the new Captain America. They try to make him a little bit sympathetic before he's introduced. We get to see he's doing these public appearances, meeting the people. He's on Good Morning America. And to be honest, I really just don't buy it. I guess it's because I love Steve Rogers so much as a Captain America, but I just, I'm not a big fan of him in this episode. And this is just kind of like the beginning of that feeling. They didn't stop at making a new Captain America though. They ended up making kind of like a new Bucky as well. His sidekick, Battlestar. Lamar Hoskins is Battlestar in the comics, but he also goes by Bucky sometimes as well. So that's why I'm referring to him as kind of like his own Bucky. We get to see Bucky's reaction to be new Captain America on the television and I think he took it a bit harder than Sam did but I don't know just because Bucky is really irritated the fact that Sam gave up the shield and chose to not you know become the new Captain America and that's kind of a play that goes throughout the entire episode that he just really does not like that he gave up the shield. I did find it interesting that Bucky went and found Sam and Torres so he could yell at Sam about giving up the shield and he forces himself on Sam's mission to take down the Flag Smashers. I love the banter between Sam Sam and Bucky in this. They're just both really great side characters that are getting their time to shine here. And I love the comedic timing, the MCU moments that we all know when it comes to the humor here. I think it was hilarious that Bucky actually read The Hobbit back in the 30s when it first came out. And then all the banter you've seen in some of the TV spots when it comes to wizards and sorcerers. What's the difference? There definitely seems to be some growing pains between them when it comes to working together. They clearly don't get along when it comes to their methods and what they want to use to take on the Flag Smashers. Sam wants to be a little bit more tactical Meanwhile, Bucky just wants to go in and fight everybody because of course he does. I mean, he's a super soldier. Of course he's going to want to do that. But they do actually try and be a little bit tactical. Bucky jumps on the back of one of the trucks as the Flag Smashers get away. He thinks that Aaron Kellyman's character is a hostage and he gets launched out of the truck. Coming ahead a bit here, they do identify her as Carly Morgenthau, which is interesting if you're a fan of the comics because I mentioned Flag Smasher, the character before, and the actual character name is Carl Morgenthau. So it almost seems like they gender bent Flag Smasher, which is totally fine. They've done that before in the MCU. I mean, Ghost and Ant-Man the Wasp was also a gender-bent villain. So I thought that was a fun little tidbit there. I really love that fight between Sam, Bucky, and the Flag Smashers on top of the trucks. Surprisingly, kill Red Wing. I was really sad by that. Or RIP Red Wing until they fixed him, I guess. But it was a really intense fight. Even before the new Captain America and Battlestar show up, even then, the Flag Smashers, they seem to be quite strong. They are all clearly super soldiers, and they cr they kick the crap out of everyone. No, You know, new Cap, Battlestar, Sam and Bucky, like they are no match for these super soldiers and it looks like they're gonna be quite formidable foes for the rest of the series. They're most definitely supposed to be written this way but I really don't like the new Cap and Battlestar. They keep trying to team up with Sam and Bucky throughout the episode and I, they really just don't work for me. I can see why Sam and Bucky don't want to work with them. He's just not a very likable Captain America. It seems like he is kind of just trying to be like a poor man's version of Steve Rogers and Battlestar. I just don't vibe with that much. A personal thing I thought was really cool is after that Sam and Bucky actually travel to Baltimore Maryland which is actually where I'm from so that was kind of fun seeing Baltimore Maryland pop up on the screen as I'm watching the episode I wish that the actual occasion for why they're in Baltimore Maryland was a little bit better but Sam and Bucky go there Sam is actually being shown Isaiah Bradley who is a secret super soldier that they kind of kept hidden from the world and only it seems like Bucky and a handful of people know about and they did some really terrible things to this guy and it is cool in the comics because he actually is a black Captain America from back in the day but it seems Seems like it's not going well for him. I also thought it was cool that we see his grandson, Elijah Bradley, very briefly here, but he ends up becoming Patriot in the comics and he's part of the Young Avengers. And I can see that they are definitely planting the seeds to make a Young Avengers MCU product, whether it be a show or a film, because you already have Billy and Tommy from WandaVision. You're gonna have Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. America Chavez is supposed to debut in Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness. And you also are gonna have Patriot probably and maybe Kid Loki and a couple other ones along the way like Kamala Khan. They really are setting up the Young Avengers 
Avengers here, just planting the seeds, and I do like that because I do like the Young Avengers. After they leave the house, I thought it was terrible that the cops actually tried to arrest Sam for absolutely no reason, and they only stop when they realize that he's the Falcon. But they do arrest Bucky, though, because they find out that he skipped therapy, so he gets arrested for that. I didn't know that, so that's actually an interesting thing. If you miss court-mandated therapy, you get arrested, and then you get sent right to the therapy session, which I thought was kind of amusing that Sam kind of got stuck and sucked in with him when it comes to the therapy session. They had a joint therapy session. Sam's was more so by force, I guess, because he was there already. The therapy session does not seem to go well at first, at least until they stare into each other's eyes and they open up about stuff when it comes to the shield. And I kind of understand why Sam doesn't want the shield and all that. I totally get it. But after therapy, they end up meeting up with the new Captain America and Battlestar outside. They have a bit of back and forth. We really are supposed to not like them, I feel. It definitely seems like it's going to be the battle between Sam and Bucky versus this new Captain America and Battlestar. And I'm kind of intrigued to see where the rest of it goes for the series just because I don't really like one team and I want the other team to prevail. But we'll see how long these people stay as Captain America and I guess Battlestar. I did think the big development that was intriguing about the end of the episode is Bucky wants to go talk to Baron Zemo about some stuff. So that's going to lead into episode three next week. But yeah, really good episode, I feel. I liked it a little bit more than the pilot episode we got last week. Some really intriguing developments. I am intrigued to see more about Baron Zemo because he was one of my favorite villains in back, you know, back in Captain America Civil War. We haven't really seen him since. It looks like he's just chilling in a jail cell this whole time. So I love Daniel Brawl as the character. I'm excited. But let me know your thoughts down below. What you thought of episode two of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of all the new developments in this? I'd love to know what you think about all of that stuff and what you think is going to happen in the next episode. Either way, share all your thoughts down below. I'd love to have all things movies and TV here on the channel. Thank you for always checking my reviews, though. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like it, the subscribe button, to get up with my reviews, show reactions, unboxings, and more. For the next time, I'll see you guys later.